Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today here is my last video of my four part series for this card kit. This is the Time Offline Card Kit of the Month from Spellbinders for November. I've already posted three different videos showing 30 other designs. So if you're interested in seeing more designs, check out those videos. They are all on my channel and um, the title should be pretty obvious of um, what they are based on um, the big, bold, colored part of the video. So you can see video one, two, and three. And here's number four. Like I said on um, one of my other videos, I have just loved the stamps from this set. I think they are perfect for making so many different cards. And I really tried to stretch myself and make 40 different designs. And the stamp set really helped me do that because it helped me build different little scenes with tents and campers. And I really enjoyed trying that out. Anyway, this is a pretty girly card with the two sleeping bags and the rainbows and um, a little storybook and some fireflies. And it just reminded me of when I was um, younger and camping and just having a good time with um, Girl Scouts, actually. I was in Girl Scouts. So <laughs> anyway, um, this card kit is pretty versatile. It has a lot of the pretty girly stuff. It has some of the neutral outdoorsy stuff. So if you're interested in any of those things, this is the card kit for you. I also enjoy the sequins, so I had to add a couple sequins to this one. But that first card that I had, the kayak paper, was just, I love that kayak paper. It's wonderful. Now, this card, you have to understand my humor <laughs> with this card. Um, there is a viral video that went around on the internet a couple years ago with this raccoon stealing some cat's food. <laughs> I'll insert a little picture um, here in the video, <laughs> but you can see the raccoon is stealing the cat's food and then putting it in water and... <laughs> I'm sorry, but it just makes me laugh. So when I saw the die cut of the raccoon, <laughs> raccoon with the water bowl, I just, I had to laugh so hard because I just think of that video, honestly. So, um, yeah, I guess it's because raccoons have a instinct of drowning their prey. <sighs> sorry, a little, a little gross, but anyway, that's, that's why they wash their food. Um, anyway. The sentiment just roll with it to me was kind of a double pun for this card because I'm using the camper and it's kind of like just roll with it. There's a raccoon in your campsite. Just roll with it. <laughs> I don't know. To me, I thought it was kind of funny and I like making kind of the funny cards and this flashlight really didn't belong on the front to me. So I just popped in the center since it already had some glue on it. I just thought, why not put it in the center? Anyway, I'm going to glue down this camper now that I have the paper behind it and that kind of finishes off this card. If you can see by the camper, I have the sentiment a speech bubble that says, hey there, as if someone in the camper was saying, hey, to the raccoon. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you understand my humor. If not, I'm sorry, but I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> Anyway, there's a look at the finished card. Now for this next card, I have the raccoon again, but I am using different pattern papers to create a different kind of a background. So I'm starting with that green pattern paper that I just used in the last card. Then I'm gonna take this yellow and white striped paper to make another layer. Then on top of that paper, I'm going to take the chipboard mountain range and put it right on top of that yellow and white stripes. So this is kind of like looking off into the distance. Then the sentiment on this one says, just roll with it, happy camper. Again, the idea of a rac raccoon in a campsite. So we have the tent and the camper <laughs> right on the card. Again, we have that little raccoon. I could not help myself. I had to use both of them. If there was a stamped image of that raccoon, I would have made more. <laughs> Just being honest with you. <laughs> I'm 
Now this card features the little squirrel who's roasting a marshmallow. So adorable. So I chose to use up some patterned paper. I often make a two size card. So a lot of my scraps are the same size. So the scrap that I'm using right here, I believe is a half an inch. And I think it's a half an inch by four inches. So I'm using three of those strips and just creating a little pattern there. Then I'm going to put my squirrel resting on the two woodcut circles, I guess tree trunk circles, and have him roasting his little marshmallows there. Then to finish off the card, instead of adding um, the shimmer with the sequins, I'm going to use these little die cut out um, shapes, I guess they're not all circles, um, for embellishments. Just kind of a nod to the camping theme of hiking and a campground, boating, a table. And of course I had to add the stamped sentiment, here's to another year of adventures, take time to enjoy your birthday. If you've watched the other videos, you know that I have loved that combination together. I think I will be using that on some more cards in the future, even if I run out of supplies from this card kit. After making so many cards, it's bound to happen, but I will be using that again. Now with this card, I wanted to use the pattern paper that I had and mat it on some gray cardstock. This way it kind of gives it a chance to shine as the main piece without using big pieces of the pattern paper. So I love that kayak paper and I love gold foiling on pattern paper so I just had to use it up. So I went ahead and matted those up. Then I added three of the chipboard sentiments to the bottom and the compass and the top little love this are also chipboard sentiments and images. The two little location dots were die cuts. All right, for my next card, I am going to create kind of another outdoorsy camping card. I have that gray little arrow or mountain paper on the back. Then I'm using the yellow and white stripes and a scrap of the wood grain. Then I'm going to use that same stamp sentiment layered on the same color, so that light, sorry, that dark blue paper that I'm using on the back of this card. And then add some pieces of die cuts to the card just for interest. So I have the lantern, I have the fireflies, I have this little camper scene, and then I'm going to add the little die cut signs, I guess, if you will, as the embellishments for this card instead of using the sequins. Because they are all different colors, it kind of coordinates with the yellow and orange that are in the die cut pieces and the pattern paper. I love how everything coordinates on the Spellbinders card kits. It's just, to me, wonderful. <laughs> All right, for my next card, I'm going to take some of the die cut shapes and make another scene. So I already went ahead with my pattern paper and glued that down. Then I'm going to add the little van and the tent. Then I'm going to add another tent and this is kind of like the lover's card that I had from my other video, but instead of using yellow and making kind of a daytime scene, this is more of an abstract background. So it's kind of just a little different, but it's the same idea of having the two lovers with the perfect match sentiment. So there's a look at that card. Now with this one, I wanted to create another little scene which was very easy to do with the die cut shapes. And to finish it off, I'm using the stamped sentiment again from the stamp set to kind of make a little banner at the top. After making all of these cards, it was so fun to make even more designs and kind of have 
fun playing around with the idea of making scenes. I think that collage cards are always fun. I love making the scenes. Um, I really just like playing around with different layouts. But here is my last card, this pink one here. And I had to do kind of a little happy dance because I was kind of excited because it was such an accomplishment to make 40 different designs for me. I like kind of making little challenges for myself and this was one of them. But overall, I will say that even after making 40 different designs, I didn't get sick of looking at um, the contents of the kit and I didn't make any cards that in my opinion were too plain. So I really didn't skimp out on any of the cards by just putting a piece of pattern paper down and stamping one thing on there. I used as much as I could of all of the materials and I do even have a little extra left over, believe it or not. But, um, well, I guess believe it because it's true. But <laughs> anyway, um, I just have to say that I really enjoyed the Spellbinders card kits and I definitely would recommend them if you haven't tried one before. So hopefully after watching some of my cards that you're inspired in some way. But after watching this video, I'd like to know which card is your favorite. I think on this round of cards, my favorite would have to be one of those that had the raccoon on it because it just made me laugh and things that make me laugh, I always am gravitating to. <laughs> so yeah, I also think that the one with the tent that was kind of bold with the plaid background was another favorite. But anyway, here's a look at all 10 of the cards. So if you need a little refresher, here you go. And if you've watched all four videos, thank you so much. And consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this in the future. I will be doing another couple videos with the card kit from December. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye! 